Check out the latest highlights from the Nourishing You podcast. Can you just more fully describe what you mean by the microbiome? What is that? Like, what's it composed of? What, where is it? What does that mean? That's a really awesome question. <laughs> we hear that word all the time. Uh, we assume everybody knows what it means because those of us yeah. who are working in the field are familiar with it. But it's basically the collection of microbes that live in whatever part of body, your body we're talking about. So they mostly live on what we consider to be surfaces. Um, so that, that includes typically the skin um, and then especially the mucosa. So all the mucosal membranes that line your whole digestive tract, your respiratory tract, uh, et cetera. Um, and that's really where the concentration of microbes tends to be. Uh, particularly in the gut. So if you go along the gut from the mouth all the way down to the colon, generally the number of microbes increases, and especially in the colon, it increases dramatically. Uh, you can have uh, literally into the billions of microbes per gram of stool. Um, and so in terms of the microbes that make up that microbiome, uh, the specifics are going to vary along the GI tract depending on the details of physiological factors, what sorts of nutrients are available to them. Um, but by and large, the microbiome is composed of uh, sort of just in terms of the full mass bacteria as number one. Uh, but there are also other microbes that are normal to an extent. So there can be some fungi, um, yeast, candida is a common one that we hear about clinically. Uh, there can be viruses, uh, both viruses that uh, infect human cells, but also viruses that infect the other microbes in the microbiome. So it can be this sort of complicated ecosystem where you have viruses infecting bacteria, et cetera. Um, then there's uh, kind of the term parasites, which is composed of several different types of organisms. You can have helminths, otherwise known as worms, uh, which fortunately are not as common uh, in recent decades. Um, and then there's also the single cell. Um, they're called eukaryotes, kind of a technical name, but they're basically a little more complex, larger than bacteria. Uh, we think of those as parasites, like amoeba, for example. Uh, so you have this whole ecosystem existing in the gut. Um, and again, a big part of the microbiome is the interaction of those microbes, uh, just like a large ecosystem, like a rainforest, with all the different components play a role. Uh, the same is true on a micro microbial scale. Uh, you'll even have cases where certain microbes break down, say, fiber, and then they make products, uh, metabolic products, that then are used by other microbes for their own metabolism. Uh, so it's a highly interactive, complex ecosystem. Um, and this is all happening <laughs> in our bodies you know, as we're talking. You know, they're actually actively metabolizing whatever we had in our last couple of meals. If you enjoyed this short episode, check out our full library on our NANP YouTube channel, where you can catch up or learn more. Keep in mind that the information on the NANP podcast is for educational purposes only and should not be considered medical or legal advice. The NANP is not liable or responsible for any harm, damage, or illness arising from the use of the information contained herein. By listening to the information on this podcast, you agree to defend, indemnify, and hold harmless the NAMP and all agents. Copyright NAMP, all rights reserved.